Hi, it's Katrina. Number 10. Relics from World War I. Melting ice in the Italian Alps has revealed some very interesting relics from World War I. In a cave at the top of Mount Scorluzzo, 10,000 feet high, soldiers from the Austro-Hungarian army dug out some wooden barracks and fought against the Italians in what became known as the White War. 100 years later, the remains of the White War are finally being thawed from the ice. Archaeologists have begun to find frozen weapons, letters left behind by the soldiers, and even diaries perfectly preserved in the ice. In 2015, the ice that had sealed off the cave in Scorluzzo melted completely, making it easy for researchers to get inside. The shelter had been locked up when the war ended, and many things were left inside like a time capsule. What the soldiers left behind has given us a glimpse into just how harsh the conditions were for them as they braved freezing temperatures, starvation, and of course, enemy fire. Many died from hypothermia and avalanches. Even remains of the soldiers themselves have been found in the surrounding area as more and more ice and snow melts in the Italian Alps. Number 9. Prehistoric Viruses Russian scientists have dug some pretty scary things out of the ice. They've discovered ancient mammoths, forgotten saber-toothed tigers, and now a whole host of prehistoric viruses that could kill us all. The Russian State Laboratory has launched research into prehistoric viruses, and they are using the remains of ancient animals to do so. Animals that they recover from melted permafrost are being shipped to a lab, then studied for research into virus evolution. The project was started by the University of Yakutsk when they analyzed tissue from a horse that died 4,500 years ago and was frozen over. Now they are moving on to mammoths, dogs, rodents, and anything else that might carry viruses. The laboratory claims that they are only conducting studies on prehistoric paleoviruses, but there is no way to know what's really happening. I mean, they might not even know what they've found. This same lab happens to be one of the only two places in the world known to actually store the smallpox virus. Why? Who knows? Hopefully they don't want to use it. Number 8. A UFO in the Snow According to what's been found on satellite images of our southernmost continent, a UFO has reportedly been discovered in Antarctica. As the coldest and most barren place on the planet, it does kind of make sense that a UFO would choose to land there if they wish to remain undiscovered. Someone was looking at satellite maps of the continent when they apparently uncovered what they claim is a UFO and sent the discovery to YouTuber Mr. MBB333, who shared it in a video. Unfortunately, what the supposed aliens probably didn't anticipate was that the melting polar ice caps would cause their camouflage to melt away. This seems to be the case here, as newly melted ice has revealed a massive metallic disk over 60 feet wide in the middle of an otherwise empty wasteland. Of course, this could be a doctored video, so take everything with a grain of salt. However, this news spread so much that the History Channel even talked about it on YouTube. What happened to Nazi week over there? Now it's always alien week. Speaking reasonably, it is of course impossible to say with complete certainty that a UFO landed in Antarctica. All we have to go on are these satellite images that show what looks to be similar to a spaceship. There is an elevated circle on the top of the metallic structure, a large shadow being cast from it, and a small patch of dry land that was until very recently ice. You could see why people think it might be alien. But what kind of object do you think it could be? Let me know in the comments. This discovery made by satellite has led to more questions than answers, but regardless, seems like people are definitely paying more attention to Antarctica. Number 7. Frozen Cell Phone A pair of hikers were recently saved thanks to a miraculous discovery in the ice. It all went down at the end of December 2021. Matthew and his friend Dusen had gone hiking near Mount Baldy in California up the ice house saddle. Matthew lost his footing on the icy trail and started to slide. Reacting on instinct, his friend reached out to grab him, but it was a big mistake. Grabbing his friend cost Deucen his own footing and they both tumbled down 150 feet of hard ice and snow. The only reason Matthew stopped at all was that he slammed into a tree. 
He ended up being terribly injured on the side of the mountain with mangled limbs and no way to call for help. Still, the guys weren't going to give up. Matthew picked up a stick to help himself walk and ended up accidentally jabbing something frozen in the snow. It was a cell phone! When he picked the thing up, it had a 1% battery charge, so he quickly dialed 911, shouted his location into the phone, and help was on the way. Without discovering that phone in the ice, both of them very well could have died right there on the mountain. But now you're probably wondering how the phone got there in the first place. The thing is, three days earlier, another hiker had gotten into a similar situation. What's truly amazing is that hiking in that spot is rare. People almost always go to the more popular peak at Mount Baldy. Yet just three days earlier, a different person also slid down the mountain following the same trail and lost his cell phone. Then Matthew and his friend fell down the same spot and found it. The frozen phone just so happened to still have any battery at all. Just enough to call the police. Talk about a series of incredible coincidences. Number 6. Frozen Delivery A ship in Russia brought to port a cargo of frozen vehicles. It happened on December 27, 2021. When the ship, the San Rio Roro cargo carrier, arrived at the Russian port city of Vladivostok, everything was covered in ice. The ship was blanketed in ice and so was its cargo. The entire deck was like a skating rink, as if the ship had just come out of a refrigerator. But that does make sense, considering the temperature was around minus 4 degrees Fahrenheit. Even in such a frigid part of the world, the frozen ship was enough to draw a crowd. The workers on board the ship had the unfortunate task of unloading dozens of frozen vehicles, some of which had up to 6 inches of solid ice on their exteriors. A lot of the cars were even damaged because the ice was so thick and the air was so cold that the windows simply shattered. How did so much ice get on the cars? According to an official with the shipping unit, it's all because of waves. Extreme winds while the ship was en route caused waves to reach all the way into the cargo hold. Then, thanks to the humid sea wind and sub-zero temperatures, the water turned almost immediately into ice. The result was a whole lot of ruined cars. Number 5. Tusk in the Ice Scientists recently made an amazing discovery from the Ice Age. In 2018, scientists found a woolly mammoth tusk in Alaska over 3 feet long. But that's only the beginning of the story. Researchers analyzed over 400,000 microscopic data points from the tusk by looking at isotopes, or tiny atoms. According to Matt Wooler from the University of Alaska, they were able to retrace the entire life of the extinct beast. They found that during its 28 years on Earth, it wandered across enough of the Alaskan wilderness to circle the planet two times. How they came to this conclusion is a little confusing. It's because each year the mammoth was alive, a new layer grew on its tusk. Think of it as similar to the way that a tree's lifetime can be examined via the rings inside. By looking at the isotopes in each layer of mammoth tusk, researchers created a map of where it had been. One of the most amazing parts of the discovery is that they found its movement shifted suddenly at the age of 15. Researchers believe that was when the mammoth was kicked out of its herd and forced to go off on its own. From there, it wandered around extensively, sometimes hundreds of miles over just a couple of months. But throughout its entire life, it walked enough that it could have literally circumnavigated the globe twice. Number 4. Deer in a Pond In Connecticut, firefighters arrived at a frozen pond to find something strange going on. According to the Walcott Police Department, a frantic animal control officer by the name Roz Nenninger had phoned the fire department for backup when he discovered a deer stranded on the ice of a frozen pond at the local gun club. The deer had wandered onto the lake, not realizing the danger, slipped on its long legs, and then found itself completely stuck and unable to leave. If no one had rescued it, the deer would have broken through the ice and frozen to death in the water beneath, or simply starved. Luckily, the fire department did an amazing job. A rescuer crawled onto the ice on his stomach, very slowly so as not to scare the deer or break the surface of the pond. He then attached a rope to the deer and slowly dragged it back to solid land. Once released, it pranced off into the nearby woods without so much as a thank you. It might want to stay away from the lake 
and the gun club. Number 3. Mongolian Artifacts In the high mountains of Mongolia's Altai region, there once lived one of the oldest pastoral societies in the world. We only know about them because of a handful of random burials found in the frigid, windswept landscape and a small collection of stone ruins. Because they lived in the icy part of western Mongolia, very little evidence of these people remains today. Whatever artifacts they left behind ended up being covered in snow and ice and lost for thousands of years. But thankfully, at least for archaeologists, melting ice in the mountains is revealing more and more lost relics from over 1500 years ago. For example, archaeologists recently discovered a piece of rope woven from animal hair. It was lying in a pile of rocks right at the edge of the retreating ice. It is unknown exactly what the artifact may have been used for. It's possible that it was part of a bridle or a harness, or it may have been used for stringing up captives. It's impossible to say, but it does reveal an ancient technique for rope manufacturing hundreds of years before the Great Mongol Empire. According to electron microscopy done by scientists, nomads used camel hair to make the rope. They also found collagen preserved with some ancient arrowheads that they pulled from the ice, showing that they used deer tissue to affix arrowheads to their shafts. Pretty creative! Number 2. Antarctic Rescue A Chinese icebreaker that was supposed to help rescue people actually ended up getting stuck itself. They were trying to help the passengers on the academic Shokalski vessel when it got stuck in the Antarctic ice. It happened a few years ago in December, when the Russian boat became lodged by thick ice flows and had no way of escape. The Chinese ship, the Shui Long, came to its rescue and transferred 52 passengers by helicopter onto a third ship called the Aurora Australis. Then, when the Chinese ship tried to maneuver through the ice and leave, it found that it couldn't. Nobody was in any serious danger on the Chinese icebreaker, but it was a pretty complicated rescue mission. It was actually kind of ironic since the Shui Long was called in to smash a path through the ice so that the Russian vessel could get free, then it got stuck itself. The Aurora Australis hung around in open water just in case the Chinese crew also needed rescuing, but stubbornly they said they didn't need any help and remained trapped until they could free themselves. All 111 individuals on board decided to wait it out. Number 1. Cave Lion Cub Deep in the Siberian Arctic, the cub of a cave lion was discovered partially thawed. She had been asleep in the ice for 28,000 years. The ice had preserved her with such perfection that her golden fur was undamaged. Her teeth and soft tissue were still intact, and scientists even found her organs. In fact, her claws are still so sharp that she could do some real damage. She's being hailed as an unprecedented specimen, a once-in-a-lifetime discovery. Russian scientists nicknamed the Siberian cub Sparta. Had the cub not fallen victim to whatever killed it, she would have roamed across the Russian wilderness alongside her fellow big cats, giant woolly mammoths, saber-toothed tigers, and ferocious dire wolves. But that's not what happened. When she was only about a month old, something caused her to die. According to the Russian and Japanese scientists in charge of researching the lion cub, she probably got stuck in a mudslide or fell into a crack in the ice. They know this because she must have frozen almost immediately to be in the incredible state of preservation she is now. Cave lions were pretty similar to African lions except more prehistoric. It's believed they adapted to life at high altitudes, growing a thick coat to keep out the cold. They were basically the woolly versions of savanna lions. Now, scientists are investigating to see if they can actually bring this ancient creature back to life. Thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time for more videos like these. Bye!